Hi, so it's uh, day two of the REI, and we have with us today Rishabh Kohli of Orient Solar. Rishabh is the co-founder and managing director, and he has a very interesting backstory from being a finance professional in the US to come back to India and turn entrepreneur in the solar industry. So let's start with that, Rishabh. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much. So what got you excited about the Indian solar story? Yeah. So um, as you said, I'm uh, I was. Um, after college in the U.S., a finance professional working in the solar industry on Wall Street and then um, across the world, but mostly in the States. Um, so I, I sort of had an in-depth view of, of technology in the States. I was importing a lot of stuff from, from, from India. Um, obviously, I am Indian. I was born in India. I was raised in India. Um, the Indian economy was doing fabulously well. I, my last four, sort of year or so in the States, I had a lot of exposure to a lot of Indian companies, a lot of developers in India, a lot of uh, smaller and larger developers in India. I understood what sort of market the country was looking at and uh, that got me really excited. Um, then I sort of came back to India. Um, I met my co-founders Mohit and, and Sumit who were already in the business. So Orient Solar, although is our brand, uh, our B2B brand is ADM Solar Power. ADM has been in the business for years, um, but we sort of all came together and um, today, sort of, I'm, I'm obviously the managing director. Mohit is the CEO. Sumit is the COO. Siddharth is the is supply supply uh, procurement sort of head. And sort of, we all sort of came together. And, and obviously, with all of our backgrounds, we thought that you know the idea was to be one of the biggest um, in sort of the solar world. Um, and um, I think we're you know well on our journey to do that. So that's why I came back, and that's where we are. Rishabh, I've seen you've been very passionate about the technology involved in solar, especially. Were you exposed to solar in the U.S. also? Yeah, that was the that was the game. I was I was I was uh, doing solar projects all the time, uh, mostly on on perk modules. Um, actually, when I started off, it was still five BB, but um, then on, on to ten BB modules, uh, mostly on the development side, mostly on the finance side. Um, so the technology, the players, I pretty much knew them inside out. Um, and I knew where India had to go because obviously the states currently has about 210 gigawatts installed. India is like maybe a quarter of that. Um, so I, I knew where the country had to go and I knew that what was key was also government policies in India. I thought that the, the uh, because the solar you have to understand is not just a, a business, it is a, it's energy. So energy is always interrelated to government policies. Um, so everything was looking on the up and I said this is the right time um, for I think pedigreed entrepreneurs and pedigreed professionals to enter this space um, and that's that's why we're here. So tell us a little bit about the existing uh, offerings you have, the portfolio and future plans. Sure, so um, again just, we currently have um, obviously our solar modules, that's our core business. Uh, we have a manufacturing plant, um, by the end of the year it will be about 2 gigawatts uh, manufacturing. Um, obviously perk modules um, but majorly top con modules um, so 10 bb 16 bb um, so 540 550 type modules then you've got 590 and then you've got obviously the larger 630 and we've just launched our 710 watt module which is our top con module uh, in this show um, aside from that we also made an acquisition and we are making a, a sustained attempt to also enter the rooftop segment through our d2c offerings uh, which I think a lot of the larger players, you know, avoid. Uh, so we did that through acquiring a company in the inverter manufacturing, inverter and battery manufacturing space. So we are also launching a new hybrid arc series inverter. This is, we had a hybrid inverter, but this one has a copper based technology. So we've got, um, so our offerings are basically panels and then we've got inverters and lithium ion batteries. So the three things we sell, so you essentially have a complete solar solution when you come to us. Um, on the utility and developer side, and EPC side, scale size, OEM side, we make the panels, we sell them, but we also have a D2C business where we you know, work on rooftops, we do the EPCs ourselves, we distribute, uh, we have distributors, and so yeah, those are the two sort of offerings we have, and panels, inverters, and batteries. That's about it. So now that you've been here, you've been involved for a while, uh, things have been great, of course, for the last few months for the sector. Do you see any challenges ahead in terms of anything, actually? Well, we've been hearing, hearing feedback from people on resource crunch of sorts in terms of human resources or uh, even today awareness in some states regulations. Anything like that which bothers you right now? Uh, again, so it, it, there's always going to be ebbs and flow in the industry. 
Um, human resource is probably one of the biggest challenges I have at the moment. Um, obviously, you know, we're a very healthy company. We have, at the moment, we have zero debt, um, which is very rare for a company in our segment. Uh, we are organically grown, we own 100% of the business and we are at a large scale already. Uh, the biggest issue for us, especially being headquartered out of, uh, no, we're headquartered out of Delhi, factories are